Hi and welcome back to my No Torches Run of Darkest Dungeon. And last time we did a medium run in the Warrens. Um, today we are going to try to do this long one. It's a long level 3 dungeon. In order to get this max HP item. But also clear the path to the boss in the Warrens and that's the um, swine god, I think. But first we need to do some logistics. For example, remove this mass stress. Perhaps I should upgrade the cloister first, but too late now. Let's check if there's any other upgrades I can do. Can upgrade this one. Well, every creature has a weakness. I don't have any level three or level five uh, heroes yet, so I don't need this one. But let's keep the portraits anyway. Yeah, the blacksmith is fully fully upgraded. Well, uh, perhaps I need this for my level four heroes. Is that so? Yeah, okay. Let's go with this upgrade then. Some may fall, but their knowledge lives on. I'm gonna try to remove his stress as well. And she will not... Okay, she will only go to the cloister. Meditate, yeah. That's too bad. we manage I think so we need quite a strong group in order to deal with this uh, long dungeon so let's upgrade our plague doctor to the maximum and we have a healer level 5 or level 4 healer give her the skills as well and the hellion Something like that. Hmm. And then I will need another damage dealer. I would prefer a highwayman, but they are all gone missing. I guess I could go with a crusader to tank a bit. Hmm. I will be lacking a bit in damage, but. You should be okay. Let's just go to the blacksmith and get them sorted out. Like that. And then we had the play doctor as well. And check the nomad wagon for any items. This brace will always give me dodge. So that's a nice one. And this is okay as well. Hmm. Yeah, well. Let's buy things and they are like as ancestral quality or better. So we will bring the healer and the hellion. Then we had one crusader. Hmm, I forgot to use the sanitarium, I think. I can put this uh, one into this sanitarium because he had quite a lot of negative quirks. This one is really bad. There are, are a lot of uh, or bleed attacks. So, it's always good to remove it if possible. Oops, it's the same one. Let's just go like that. Doesn't make a huge difference. Let's try to remove as many of the negative quirks as possible. And then the healer. Are there any items I should bring along? 
I mean, I have a couple of oops, uh, strong items for my crusader, but he already has them, so let's just go like this. Enough fooling around, and I will do the buffs in the beginning. Well, let's bring a lot of food. Perhaps not this much food, but <laughs> remove two. Yeah, that would make a huge difference. Mm, we can bring a uh, holy water, I guess. Let's go. They breed quickly down there in the dark. Okay. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. So we are going to do all the room battles. So I guess we just go around like this. Hmm. Yeah, let's get going. Got some loot. The f first section of the corridor. Oops, I forgot to camp. Oh well. Let's camp in the next room. Okay, we got surprised by these pigs. Sneaky pigs. And they do stress attacks. Let's try to kill one before he gets to act. So perhaps that was the one who attacked me. I guess I might miss him. Yeah. That's a little bit of a derp for me, but we should manage. Let's go with the um, attack on the one in front. Play Doctor can't do anything from the front. Using Holy Lands to get forward. They actually give us a lot of stress. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. At least we didn't get any of the diseases that you can get from these guys. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. He's dead, but let's try to get a crit. I need a, a crit to remove the stress I got, but that's okay. I think I need medicine to use that. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of stress. Um, I vomit. At least we got the dodge this time. Let's try to kill the marcher. Almost. I needed two more damage, so he will do an AoE stress attack. Mm. Well, let's focus on the swine spawn. Didn't really matter since I missed and another crit. Yeah, my uh, Crusader is getting a lot of stress. Hmm. I wonder if it's this one that gives him a lot of stress. I don't know. How much damage does he do with AoE? Not enough. He didn't do enough with a single target attack either, but... Almost. Let's try to go for a stun. No. He dodged. Yeah, this is a uh, really nasty luck, I have to say. Um, I don't need my damage, so let's just kill one of these. Hmm. Yeah, try to kill this. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Hmm. 
forward to judgment. Don't think my crusader has moved yet, so he should be able to finish this guy off. Perhaps even go with a stun just to heal myself. Ah. Kill him. At least that reduced some stress. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Check out the loot. Okay. I will use a five wood now. Even if it's a bit cheap because I will get extra light. But I forgot to use it in the first room. So. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. So what do we have for skills? This is a nice one because we have a lot of stress. But it's mostly on my crusaders, so I could use this. It's quite cheap, only two time units. Hmm. I, think, I think that this 50% uh, chance to remove target disease. It's um, it will remove negative quirks sometimes. Okay. Anyway, let's use this buff and this one as well. How much more time do we have? Seven. Do a lot of stress resistance. Yeah. I mean, he really needs stress resistance. We have five more. So, if I use this, I will increase the stress resistance on my companions, which is nice, but I will not be able to do anything else. Well, let's go with this. Just rest. Hopefully we will not get ambushed. Yeah, we got ambushed. by a nasty group as well. Focus on the marcher. It's a nice hit, but not enough. So we have a blight attack and that's the only one we can use and it's only on the first guy or front row guy. I will actually not attack the marcher because I will have to use the lance on this guy anyway. And that cannot target the front row. Do a blight attack for my play doctor, but he dodged, so that's nice. So let's do that charging attack and kill the drummer. I only, I only need f like four more damage yeah, to kill him. So let's go with an AoE heal. Try to kill him. No, he dodged that one. At least he didn't dodge that attack. So we are back in fighting shape almost. Our crusader is stressed out like no tomorrow. We got the highest trap res resistance. Seems to be our Hellion. She was uh, curious. Is the trap maker's art? Did manage to remove it. Unwitnessed by his own eyes. It's uh, interesting that the Hellion is so good at many things. She can remove traps. She can tank. She can do damage from almost every position. So, I need to kill the swine uh, Tor. I would like some heals as well. Oh well. I think he will do more damage than she can heal anyway, so it might be better to just focus him down. 
as quick as possible. He didn't. Uh, he <laughs> has one more HP. Okay, that didn't do any damage at all. Hmm, but now he's marked. Not that I know what that means. Or I know what it means. But I don't know which uh, attacks he will do take more damage from. Let's try to stun these two guys. That's perfect. Too bad that my Crusader can only hit this guy in front. Let's go with the stun attack. Size alone Just because. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. So focus on the marcher. Need 11 more damage. So that's enough. Now we can actually heal ourselves a bit. I'll try to stun him a sing a second time. It's uh, at least I mean it's 40% chance to hit. Or just attack him. The crusader does like no damage at all. So it's hard to use them, I think. The Hellions are much better. It's still uh, early access, so, so it doesn't really matter that much. But the balancing things. As victories mount, but so too will I think they should try to balance it a little bit better. Especially these things that they cannot attack from, from the back rows. At least the Grotada can use a charging attack. Uh, but the Leper can't. There is almost no reason to use a Leper instead of a Hellion. And the Hellions has so great, really great uh, self buffs as well. Okay, we got, get stress again. And more stress from the trap. Cruel machinations and some bring to life with a singular Let's just remove purpose. it with a bandage, freeing up some inventory slots. We need to find some more battles. At least he dodged this trap. Perhaps this is a map. No, but it's a positive quirk. Slayer of Elvich. So this is a really nice one. Not that I know what Elvich. The kind of monsters that is. But at least it's a positive quirk. Many empty rooms in this dungeon. We are still not in zero darkness. Some more loot. Okay, no, now we have zero dark or zero light. Black as death. Kill the swine, whatever it's called. Swine dude, and use the debuff attack. Didn't land, but it's okay. You say it has to move forward. That's a nasty crit. Okay, try to stack some uh, blight attacks. This is really nasty. Dot five damage and every turn. And that's a stress attack. We are still quite fine, this uh, stress resistance buff really make a difference. Try to land a debuff this time, no. And another blight attack should be a dead ghoul. Yeah. This expedition at least promises success. So we have to start removing items. Should I eat 12 food? Or should I just remove something else? Oh, it's only citrine. Mm -hmm. ah, let's keep it. We'll eat some food, although. So. And put my healer in the back. Nice a map. Seems like it was a really good map as well. 
Yeah, look at all this scouting information. Yeah, we got the whole dungeon layout, so we need to go to every single room. Oh well. More loot that way. Yeah, attack the big guy since we have the buff. It will leave us open to some stress, but it should be okay. 95 stress resist, oh, stun resist. Nice crit. So, yeah. We can actually kill him this turn without him even having the chance to attack. The play doctor is taking uh, some bleeding damage. So I can remove that. If I use. The cure, curing thingy, out of field medicine. It's not 100%, but almost. Using uh, her on the big guy since my crusader should be able to kill the swine spawn. Yeah. She hits very hard, but. So I don't want to waste her, her attacks on uh, guys that has low health. So now I got to heal and cure my own light as well, or bleed. I go to AoE heal with my healer. I will do another bleed attack. How low is his bleed resist? He got plenty of bleed resist, so it should be fine. But I guess the swine uh, weaver is using some kind of hacks, cheat codes. Yeah, he's landing everything. Let's try stun of our own. Yeah, can use hacks as well. Only one more HP. Let's try to heal this. Nope, you were failed. Oh well. Finish him off. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Yeah, this is much more money. Should I throw away this holy water? Hmm. Oh well. Let's do it. Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. This is the problem with uh, long dungeons. That I mean, you fill your inventory so quickly, and just need all this silly stuff as well. Such blockages are unsurprising. So, These tunnels predate even the yeah, earliest settlers. What you what you should do? I only eat two of these. Uh, food thing is. Hmm. So I have a lot of these stress. Stressing makes you not eat or something like that. Oh well. Whatever. That's fine. Shouldn't be com complaining about saving food. Nice, we disarm the trap. So let's go here and do that uh, battle as well. There is plenty of battles in this dungeon. At least up here. So this corpse eater is a, is a beast. I thought that this would be uh, an eldritch. But mm. Try to finish him as quickly as possible. I could actually use this AOE stun. They have 95% chance to resist stuns, but it should be almost 50 50. Yeah, that's a nice one. And the uh, large corpse eater is dead. 
Let's try to kill the small a corpse eaters then. Strike. I don't think that these guys looks the same. Corpse eater and large corpse eater. Six and six. It will be some overhealing. But that's okay. He might be able to attack me once. Or not. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow mm. and insidious killer. Some stress assistance. I could use this on someone. Oh, well, everyone has items already, so let's just skip it. Bone altar. I think I would need holy water to activate this. Could use this one because she has pretty low stress. Perfect. I think it was this damage, increased damage, increased damage buff I got. I don't know if you always get that if you use um, holy water or something. If you always get that one with holy water, then I should bring holy water every time to the warrants. But I don't know how it works, and I will not check any like, forums and stuff. And another altar. Try to focus on the big guy again. Got a lot of HP. Let's try the stun attack. I mean, I brought the Plague Doctor. I might as well use his uh, uh, crowd control abilities. I see no reason not to. Bleed attack. At least this time he. Managed to survive that or resist the bleed. Mm. Let's try a blight attack. And finish him as quick as possible. You need to hit him for two more damage. Or a crit with a <laughs> 23 crit from our healer. Try to kill the marcher now. We need to keep the stress lower. We are over 50% on free hour guys. So there will not be a fight for a long time, so we can actually use this AoE stun. Even if it will give us a debuff. continue on beating on this guy so five more or eight more HP oops perhaps I should use the AoE heal oh well that's fine kill him like that wealth beyond measure awarded to the so brave now and we have the to decide about our monies money as well again Hmm. The busts. Do I need more busts? Let's skip the busts and get some money instead. I got so high stress that I cannot really loot anything that isn't safe. Because if I get like additional stress on any of my guys I will most likely hit 100 you got another map that's kind of useless since we see the whole dungeon already like this for example at least this will only give me disease I think or blight so 
I can try to use it with my play doctor. Okay, so we he will only drink in town, but that's an okay trait. Don't really mind that too much. And finally we got the easy fights. This is one of these fights that you might actually gain HP from. Decimated. And reduce the stress as well. Which is a bit counterintuitive that some fights would give you HP. Destroyed. Maybe I really like the Crusaders, but they are quite quite bad, I must say. The Hellions just do things much better. Perhaps not tanking, but in this game you usually need more offensive power instead of defensive. Hmm. I don't think I need a shovel, but I do not remember. It's only 400 gold, let's check the map first. Yeah, I don't need a shovel anymore, so... Next time I will remove it if I got some nice loot. It's on this trap and let's keep going. Okay. And this is obviously something you will need holy water for. But let's try it. Yeah, we got loot. Some more money we cannot carry. So this will be a great run for when it comes to money, but... I would kind of like uh, a bigger backpack. Got a disease. This is a really bad disease, which we will have to remove in the sanitarium if we remember it. We we'll have a room battle here. It's another of these swine tours. I don't like them. I think they can do a lot of damage. I don't know they can, but I don't really like the the stunning attacks or the stress attacks either, but... Yeah, this... That's an incredible attack. If you use that one all the time, I would be dead. But at least you can only use it from the front row, or back rows. So we have... At least one more turn to hit him before he can do it again. He has another attack that he will attack and move backwards at the same time. Hopefully we will kill him before he just does it. Yeah, he's dead now. Another st stun attack. And this time it landed. Big guy is already dead from the bleeds. Oh well. I have to use my crusader on him since it's the only one he can attack. Judgment quit. Mm. I think the martyr will do another A or stress attack. This one didn't even make any more stress. I could use battlefield medicine to heal three more, but seems a bit unnecessary. Let's just kill him. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to use in the sacrificial stone, but I guess it's those um, holy waters again. Oops. Yeah, we have to check this torch because it will give us some loot as well. Nothing we can carry out with us, but never know. 
Yeah. I feel so bad just uh, leaving money. But okay, we'll do a bleed attack. Wasn't that bad. Only six damage total on the bleed. Try to kill this conscript, I don't think you will, but nope. But at least Enchantress is dead. She was like dead three times over almost. And my healer is quitting most of all my guys. This gladiator has quite Low HP pool. Only 17 max health. Okay, another bleed. Okay, let's try to stun him. Because I would like to remove the bleed. And now I can kill him. Laden with loot are often so low on supplies. If I get another ruby, it will be more money than this, but if I don't, it will be less. The same thing with saf this sapphire. Could I just go with gold instead? it. We only have two more fights and then we will be done with this quest. Mm. Let's try it. Nice, a positive quirk. Warren's addiction. We, and we are in the Warren, so plus 15% damage and with all these buffs. That's really nice. And we only got surprised once or twice in this dungeon. But the first fights was quite quite hard. Yeah, and she crits again. She has removed like all the stress from this group by critting. That's quite silly. Finally my crusader did some damage as well. So, we can come to the last fight. So, let's do it. Now that is swine tours. We are marked. And the deep buff. Minus dodge. So should I focus on the big guy or the marcher? I can focus on the marcher because this will be the last fight. So I don't really need to uh, care about health that much. I only need to care about keeping my stress as low as possible because I will need to use money to remove stress. While my HP will regenerate when I leave. So yeah, now we did a, the, uh, an attack and the mood backwards at the same time. Try to focus the little guy first then. But she can attack the big one because she had all the buffs. Another crit. We need seven more damage. Can we do it? Yeah, if the blight lands. Yep. So that's it. The dungeon is complete. And let's check this trapped chest. Damnation. Yeah, but we are done. 
Or we can check, okay, let's just check this item first. Might be some epics, epics, no, okay. Screw it. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. Should be more than 20,000. Yeah. Almost 25,000 gold. I don't think I will use the health stone, but it's okay. It's always fun with some items. We have some quirks. That's a really bad, bad, bad quirk. I had to remove that. Chauncey. This one as well. Tannyville and Chauncey will go to the sanitarium. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. But yeah, this part is finished now and I will continue in the next one. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.